So YouTube, team keep it clean. Uh, I just, like literally just, just woke up from a nap and um, woke up to some real good news, obviously. Uh, some news that the Ravens are getting some reinforcements um, that can make a big difference uh, in their offense. And it's crazy because the Ravens offense just overall as a whole has been good but not great. The pass offense has been great. The running offense has been, uh, yeah, but the scoring offense has been, yeah. So they've been doing their thing even without a running game. So just, like, think about this real quick. Think about it. The Ravens offense, they put up, what they put up uh, week one? 24, I think, 24. Uh, and then last week uh, against the Dolphins, they put up um, 31. Well, yeah, yeah, 31, right? Well, I guess you you can put special team. You can either give special teams seven points because Devin Duvernay, or you can give special teams ten points if you want to count the the field goal that Justin Tucker kicked towards special team. It, it all depends on how you look at it. But the Ravens' offense has been putting up points both weeks, so that's a good thing. And what we've been talking about this season is that we want to see consistency. We don't want to get too hyped. We don't want to overthink anything. Don't want to underthink anything um, because it's only been two weeks. But this is the beginning of consistency. It got to start somewhere. And the fact that the Ravens offense has been scoring the number of points that they have scored, it's a good thing, but they've been doing it without a running game. They've been doing it without a running game. And I'm, I'm not saying that J.K. Dobbins is going to come through and change everything. I, I hope he does. I hope that ends up being the case. That would be a beautiful thing if he could do that. But uh, it, it will be very nice to upgrade the quality. It will be very nice for the Baltimore Ravens to upgrade the quality of their current group of running backs. Timing is everything. Um, last week, I, I just, and I said it during the live stream, I said it in my post-game thoughts video, I just felt like the Ravens, they weren't too impressed with Mike Davis. And I just felt like they, they weren't going to give him many chances anymore. I, I really felt that way because, at, like, every time he touched the ball, Dolphins were like, no, no, it ain't happening. We, no, like, literally nothing. He couldn't get anything going, nothing. Ken Drake, he tried. Ken Drake did a better job. He's trying, but there weren't really many holes for him. And then Justice Hill, he got in, he had that nice run, and then I know a lot of people, everybody, not even a lot of people, everybody, we all turned into film experts uh, because everybody saw this gaping hole. Everybody saw it. It's like, man, whoa, that should have been a touchdown. And if, even if it wasn't a touchdown, he should have got a lot more yards because the, the, the vision. And a lot of people start thinking, man, if that was J.K. Dobbins, he probably would have got that. And we'll never know, but tomorrow against the Patriots, we'll start to find out. Um, some interesting numbers here. Uh, shout out to Phil Yates for putting this up. He said, through two games, the Ravens running backs have 29 carries for 74 yards. That's 2.55 yards per carry and zero touchdowns. So that is a big yikes. It's a huge yikes. 29 carries for 74 yards. 2.5 yards and change. So a little over two and a half yards per carry. That's uh, ooh, that's, that's that's scary. That's very scary. Um, and now tomorrow we'll start to see if the bigger difference will be the offensive line and their run blocking, or if it will be the actual running back. And again, my hope is that it's a mix of both. I'm hoping that it's a good mix of the, that Ravens offensive line being like, hold up, whoa, 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 whoa. We are the Ravens. We, we are the Baltimore Ravens. We, we are usually so good at run blocking. That's what we do over here, baby. Let's get back to it. Now, that's not to say to get bad at pass blocking all of a sudden. Please don't. Please don't. Because, the, please don't. Yeah, you know why. Please don't. Please continue to, continue to improve at pass blocking. Because pass blocking ain't even the best right now. But it's in a good direction. So don't make it worse, but hopefully this Ravens offensive line will be like, hey, let's get better at run blocking. And then you, you throw J.K. in the mix, too. Mm, it can see the, the thing. This 
this can only have a good impact. It can only get better. The run game cannot get any worse. It, it can't get any worse. Adding J.K. to the mix. Even if J.K. Dobbins has a limited role, which I expect him to. I don't expect him to go out there and get 20, 25 carries, anything like that. Now, if he does, okay, cool. But I don't think that should be the expectation. But the run game cannot get any worse than what it is right now. It can't. It's like it's almost impossible for it to get worse than what it is right now. Whew. Now, um, another thing, uh, shout out to Jameson Hensley. He said this is J.K. Dobbins' first game in 20 months. That's one year and eight months. That's a uh, long time. Long time. Very long time. Um, mm. And Adam Schefter uh, highlighted the details. Just to give us Ravens fans and just NFL fans a reminder of what J.K. Dobbins went through. He said Ravens running back J.K. Dobbins who tore his ACL, LCL, meniscus, and hamstring last year. Uh, and it's questionable for Sunday is expected to make his 2022 regular season debut versus the Patriots. Per source, it's time, as one source said. So this is great, man. And, and for him to finally... Uh, be back for him to finally be back uh, after what's been so long. Um, that that's great for his mentals too. Now we mentioned in the previous video earlier that it just felt like John Harbaugh was trolling a little bit when it came to uh, how he was talking about J.K. Dobbins in his most recent press because he he was like, oh, uh, J.K. Dobbins. Um, he was like, uh, what did he say? Did he say he's weak to? I forgot exactly what he said. But um, he basically was very noncommittal about J.K. Dobbins, but he did it in like a little hardball trolley kind of way. I was like, oh, all right, all right, we, we, we see you, man. We, we've been watching how you move for like the past, what, 14 years? It's been 14 years, right? 2008? Yeah, 14 years. We've been watching how you've been moving the past 14 years, so we, we know a little something about you, just a little bit. Um, but no, nah, it's all good. But this is nice, man. This is nice. Um, J.K. Dobbins, he can help. In the running game. Um, but he can also help in the passing game too. He can help in the passing game too. Now, Justice Hill, he can help in the passing game. Uh, Ken Drake a little bit, he, he can help in the passing game too. But now Lamar has that running back that he's very comfortable with. Very comfortable with. And when you have a comfort level with somebody... That just raises the quality of everything that you do with them. Think about it. If you're at work and your manager, your boss is like, all right, group project. I, I, I need you all to finish this assignment by Friday at noon. He tells you this on Monday. I need you to finish this assignment by Friday at noon. You got the next four days and change. And you're like, okay, well, who am I working with? All right. Uh, Brock. You're going to work with Billy. I know you've never worked with Billy before, but you're going to work with Billy and you're all going to get this thing done. Now, you, of course, will accept the assignment because that's part of your job. But if you're Brock and you've never worked with Billy before, then it'll be like, oh, OK, well, we could try to make it happen and hopefully we'll make it happen. But there may be a lot of bumps in the road. But if your boss comes to you, hey, said, Brock, Brock, you're going to work with Paul. And you and Paul are best friends and y'all have worked on several projects together in the past before and have, have had success doing them. You're going to be like, oh, yeah, I get to work with Paul. And then that, that chemistry that y'all already have, it can show and it can make everything that much easier. That's what we wanted to happen with Lamar Jackson and J.K. Dobbins, for everything to be made that much easier. That's what we, have, well, that's what we want to happen with J.K. Dobbins and the Ravens run game. We want everything to be made that much easier. That's what we want to happen with J.K. Dobbins and this Ravens offense as a whole. We want everything to be made that much easier. <laughs> 